Good morning and welcome to The Bald Guy Cooks. Simple cooking for a simple lifestyle and I'm not the bald guy. I'm Mrs. Bald Guy and generally the shaky force behind the camera. But today is game day. As you can see, go Hawks. If you're not a Seahawks fan, Woo! I apologize. But uh, today you're gonna have to cheer with us a little bit because we're gonna make a really yummy dip. We made this last week. We get together with a great group of friends every week to watch the games and we all bring in an enormous amount of food and we do not count calories on this day, just to warn you. Um, I am making a jalapeno popper dip. This was a great hit last week, I'm making it again this week, and it was so easy we thought it would be a good recipe to show. So what we're going to do first is get a quarter cup of jarred jalapenos, and this is in juice, it's already, this is how much I'm going to want after I get all the juice out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it all into a colander. And I'm gonna chop this up into smaller pieces. The bald guy already chopped up some fresh jalapeno. He chopped up four of them. However, he did say that they were awfully hot, so I may not use them all. We may go with a smaller portion of the fresh jalapenos because even though the majority of our group likes spicy food. Sorry, Elizabeth. The majority of our group likes spicy food. Um, too much spice just is never good. So, there, got a nice little rough chop on those jalapenos out of the jar. The next step is to grate some cheese. It calls for a cup of cheddar, but today I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna bring in cheddar and jalapeno jack. You know, because it is popper dip, why not, right? That cheddar there. And I am one of those really meticulous, you know, measurement people. And so for me to just kind of grate along and not measure everything, out of my comfort zone. But I'm learning because I've been behind the camera enough to watch the bald guy and I'm realizing it's okay. Besides, who doesn't want a little bit more cheese than it calls for? Okay, cheese is grated, jalapenos are chopped, I'm gonna move on over, oh, I won't do that. I'm gonna move the mixing bowl over here. Okay, two packages of cream cheese. This has been out and softening because you're gonna to need to be able to stir it up easily. So I'm just going to open up the foil. I'll probably need a little bit of scooping to get it off of the foil. There we go, there's one. Now, you know that the bald guy's always asking for comments down below his videos, and don't forget to hit subscribe on that little red subscribe button down in the bottom corner, right down there. Hit that, you get notifications. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free. You get a notification when a new um, video uploads, so you don't have to constantly be stalking the page. Anyways, if you have ideas of great game day snacks, Go ahead and put them down in the comment section. We always like to hear those. Okay, so I'm just going to shove all of this cheese together. Then there's a little bit of parm too, grated parmesan. I'm just going to do this. Yep, that looks about right. See me not measuring? Ooh. All right. And then a cup of mayonnaise. I will measure this just because I can't quite help myself not measure anything. So I'm going to scoop out a cup of mayonnaise. And this just, I think, helps it all spread together easier because even though the cream cheese is softened and creamy, it still doesn't want to spread with all these ingredients quite so easily. So I'm going to scoop all of that in. All right. And let's not forget the jalapenos. Scoop that. I'm a messy cook. Sorry, hiding behind the board there. And I'm looking at, <laughs> really messy cook. I'm looking at these jalapenos and if they're really hot, I'm thinking, mm, maybe we should just cut them up a little bit so people don't get a huge chunk of jalapeno in their mouth that's too hot. So I'm going to be brave and do this without gloves. 
Fall Guys cringing. <laughs> Apparently they're really hot. <laughs> and they keep rolling all on the floor. Where are the dogs when you need them? Just kidding, that would burn their mouth. Okay, I'm just gonna pop these up. Looks like I pulled out about half of them, so it's about two, two hot jalapenos going into this dip. Because frankly, last week wasn't quite spicy enough. But the jalapenos that we had last week were pretty mild. Still gave a great jalapeno flavor, just didn't really give any heat. So, what do you think? Is that a good amount? Okay. All of it? Okay. Alrighty. Get all this to the side. Now you just get a sturdy spoon and mix it together. So easy. Well, except for the mixing part, that takes a little bit of muscle. But hey, I'm wearing my lunch jersey, feeling strong today. We're gonna win. All about that action, boss. Sorry, bears. We're gonna win today. Feel it. We're down two games right now for the season. So now you know what time, what time of the year it is. Third game. We haven't won one during the season yet. It's gonna happen today. Feel it. Okay. See, isn't that easy? Now what we do? I'm gonna put it in this pan here. You know, I honestly, I don't think we need to grease it. I think that there's enough grease in all of this cheese, but it's not gonna worry about any kind of sticking happening. There's no, nothing to stick. So what we do, spread it into the pan. This is a nine by nine or eight by eight. Anyways, you see the size, half of a regular casserole dish. Oh. And I'll tell you what, this is good before it bakes. <laughs> it is. It's just not as melty, but the flavor is still yummy because I kept trying it last week before we got it into the oven. Yum, yum. Okay. Now for the topping, it's really yummy. You can get it full here. A little bit more Parmesan. I'm gonna put in about a half a, eh, that's all that's left. I'm putting it all in. It's cheese. Why can't more cheese be good? <laughs> okay, and panko, panko crumbs. And what this does is kind of gives it a crispy top. Calls for about a half a cup, half a cup of panko. That's about a half a cup, give or take. See me ball guying it up. <laughs> He wants to laugh, he wants to talk, but he is behind the camera. See, I bite my tongue all sorts of times when I'm back there. I keep my mouth shut. Camera people don't talk. Okay. Spread that on top. Oh yeah. By the way, we've had our oven on and heating. Actually, there's already another little goodie thing that we might do on a different video. 350 degrees. You pop this in until it's bubbly and browning on top. I think it took about 20 minutes last week. So we're gonna pop this in the oven and we'll come back in about 20 minutes and look at it.